calls your stories. Mornings with Stephen Jarden on BBC Radio Scotland. <coughs> First, it's the BBC Radio Scotland phone-in, and Jamie Oliver plans to protest outside Downing Street later today over the government's U-turn on its anti-obesity strategy. Ministers have delayed the introduction of a ban on promotions of unhealthy foods in the face of the cost of living crisis, but the celebrity chef says that's a wasted opportunity. Boris, I ask you, dare I say it, I beg you, please reconsider backtracking on key parts of the childhood obesity strategy. Uh, that's Jimmy Oliver speaking earlier. You'll be outside the gates of Downing Street from lunchtime today. New predictions from Cancer Research UK suggest seven out of every ten of us will be overweight by 2040. 21% of us clinically obese, leading to health complications. More pressure on the NHS. So what are we going to do about this? What's your solution to our national weight crisis. 08085 929500 or 80295 if you want to text us this morning. Should we be pushing ahead with legislation around all of this, regardless of the cost of living crisis? Or is the government right to press pause? Is healthy food too expensive? Have you managed to lose weight? What worked for you? What's your story on this? Has lockdown had an impact on your weight? Has for a lot of us. Did your weight creep up during lockdown and you're struggling to get rid of it? Is there enough support out there? If you did lose weight, how did you manage to do it? Did you get the support that you were looking for? Um, how can we encourage people to exercise more around all of this too? The Social Legacy Group Spirit of 2012, they were set up off the back of the London Olympics experience. Their warning of a public health emergency and um, research from them shows nearly half of Scots adults struggle to exercise every day. So your solutions to our national weight crisis, 08085 929500 or 80295. If you want to text us on this this morning, over the course of the next 60 minutes, we'll hear from Tam Fry, chair of the UK's National Obesity Forum, Lindsay Roberts, who runs a gym in Glasgow on the exercise part of this, Rosalind Main, she's a body positive campaigner, and Dr Frankie Phillips, a child nutritionist. Does it all start in the home? with childhood diets. Let's speak first, though, this morning to Joe. Joe Beaver used to weigh 30 stone, and then his life changed. Joe, thanks for your time this morning. Good morning. Hey, hey, hey. Paint me a picture of how life was when you were at your biggest and your heaviest, Joe. Uh, basically, uh, I never had one, Stephen. Uh, uh, I couldn't do anything. I, I could hardly walk. I was using two walking sticks. Uh, I, just, I, I was just in that like a small cocoon, just eating, 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 eating. From the moment I got to eat, reset when I went back to bed in the evenings, uh, I just never had a life at all. What led you to that stage? How did you end up that big, Joe? I think uh, my mental health, uh, my. Uh, uh, I've been overweight all my life uh, from a young age. Uh, I kept on looking at when, when do they all start. I, see, I'm, I'm 47 and I'd say it probably started probably from the age of nine years old up so you're talking almost 40 years of it, uh, struggling with my weight. Uh, but I think uh, my mental health diminished from the, probably from the, from the mid just after the, the 2000 and it just gradually got worse and worse and after 2010 I just let, let myself go and uh, I just in the God and was it a vicious circle take with you the, yeah with, with the, the, the bigger you were getting and the more uh, you were eating Joe I eating kebabs you know, not just a, a small kebab but a, a, a king kebab so I, I just got worse and worse and worse feeling. Yeah, so, so, yeah, I was asking you, is, was it a vicious circle that the bigger you got, the less you thought you had to lose on all of this, that how, how you looked mattered less to you? And so it was easier just to eat and eat and eat? Yes, absolutely. I totally let myself go. My hair was down to my shoulders. My, I had a beard that was going out of control as well. I just... Uh, 
I just didn't look like Ibro Viva was when I was younger. I just looked like a, a I wouldn't say a dynamite. I just, just some uh, untamed. Uh, no one would come up to your house. My, my house was, di- I would say my house was disgusting as well. What changed, no, just Joe? Even things, even, so. What turned things around for you, Joe? Well, basically, Stephen, uh, I was my local doctor. Uh, I lived in Durban Hill. My doctor said, basically, you carry on with this, you're going to end up in the box. So, uh, so things like that, uh, nine times in a row, uh, in my mid 30s, you're, you're going to be dead. And I was, when I was at my worst, I was in and out, in and out of Victoria. Uh, continuously with heart problems, breathing difficulties. I was like, I, was, I had a season ticket to Victoria. And so I just started, uh, I, need, I need to do something about this. By that point, I had moved back to my, my mum and dad's house. Uh, I'd given up my flat because it was just too hard to control. So I just started. I just, uh, not, I, I tried to cut back. I, I, I never thought it was many, you know, such a balance as I did. And I cut back and then eventually I got in touch with the Glasgow Week Management Service and started discussing what was the causes of this means being obese and also then to the mental health part. Uh, you know, people walking by the streets, people shine fatty, you know, you know uh, not very nice names. Uh, so I just started to start then to the Glasgow Week Management Service put me through every stage of trying to lose weight, signing diets, signing diet pills, and the things like that. I wasn't there to get to me, the bariatric surgery. It's almost eight years ago now. And since then, I've, I've lost 13 stone. And I wouldn't say to maintain 13 stone, it can go up and down slight, very slightly. So, but at the moment, uh, I'm just below 17 stone in weight. So. Well, 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 well done. Congratulations, Joe, f- first and foremost. Yeah. How do you feel as a man compared to how you were at the worst point? Now, I feel, I feel like I got my life back. Uh, one thing I like to do, I can't do it the moment. I'm not sure if I can help it the moment. I like doing races. I, I could keep on the great Scottish run. Uh, even my, even my worst way, I would still walk the 10k distance. I would take two, two and a half hours. Uh, I would walk it and you'd get your medal, but you still got, you still got rubbish. Then people were fighting at you. Uh, you're blocking off the roads, get off the road, cables, like, and but then, again, the last two to years before lockdown started, I started to run the distance. And that's amazing for someone like me. Mm. At that point, years we couldn't walk to actually running in that, in a national race in Scotland. Well done, you. So, so I'm, I'm going to ask everyone this over the course of this hour, Joe, but if there is one thing that needs that people need to do, that needs to change to solve our national weight crisis, what would it be? What's your view? Looking at the mental health aspect, changing, just stopping advertisements of food, that's not going to stop, it wouldn't stop me from eating junk food. Right, uh, but look, look at what, what actually causes obesity. It's not, it's not adverts. It's, it's a mental, it's, it's mental health. It, 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 I was using it to comfort. I had problems. I was comforted by eating a lot. That's why I've coped with my mental health. I used to shovel food in my mouth continuously. So they need to continue on the mental health instead of worrying about, or they're going to stop showing a, an advert on television or in, or discuss, or having an advert on national radio. I still going to stop someone from eating junk food. So, so it, it, the mental health part. It's, it's comfort eating. People with met sort the mental health issues and we will sort the obesity crisis. Yes. That's your message to us this morning. Joe, yes, thank you I so much. We, we, we didn't, haven't had a great line to you this morning, but I wanted to persevere with that to get your story across. Joe, thank you very much indeed for your time. Joe Beaver there used to weigh, 30, weigh 30 stone 
before that moment when he turned his life around gastric band surgery helped him on his journey he lost 13 stone his message to us this morning is it's all tied up with mental health what do you think 08085 92 95 00 or 80295 if you want to text us this morning how do we sort out our national obesity crisis let's speak to Vivian